Our planet, the Earth, is located in the Milky Way galaxy. And it's estimated that the Milky Way galaxy has a visible diameter of about 100,000 to 200,000 light years. And it's estimated that in the Milky Way galaxy, there are approximately 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. And then it's estimated that there are about 400 billion galaxies in our universe. Huge, vast, extensive, almost unimaginable. But these worlds, these galaxies, this universe, we believe God spoke into existence. This awesome, big, powerful, omnipotent God cares for even you and me? How can that be? Why would someone as minuscule and as insignificant as I am be of any concern to this type of God? The thing is, He proved to you and I that He loves us. To the point that He would come and walk on this earth, become as one of us, and die for you and me, even while we were yet sinners. This is what the Bible calls a stumbling block to the pagans. How and why would God care for people like you and I? And that too, knowing our sinfulness, knowing our specific sins, still the Bible says He loves us. You see, my friends, because He knows deep within you is His image, that you are His child. Some of you may look over your lives and wonder, how can he love me, Reg? I have stolen, I have taken part in the pleasures of this world. Whether it be uh, smoking, been drunk more times than you know, Reg. There are drugs in my veins right now. I've cheated on my spouse. How can this God love me? Listen, right now, in this very moment, will you confess your sin? Seek God for forgiveness and repent. Because 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You and I cannot erase the sins of the past. And you and I may still be dealing with the consequences of those sins. But stop believing that your sin is bigger than God's love because it's not. I like how one song puts it. It's a song entitled, Whatever I Can't Erase by Anthony Evans. And it says, I can't seem to understand why you love me. You hold me in your hand so patiently. Anybody else would have turned and walked away. When I struggle with my humanity, when life mistakes overwhelm me, still, you know everything and you don't look away. Whatever I can't erase, whatever I can't undo, when I can't find the faith to make it through, you open up your hands of love and cover with your grace whatever I can't undo, whatever I can't erase. So many times I wanted to hide from you. So many times I tried to lie to you. But you never let me get past the very first word. All you wanted was for me to come back to you and find a love waiting that can always reverse whatever I can't erase, whatever I can't undo, when I can't find the faith to make it through. Your blood is all-powerful. It's undeniable. The change you've made in me, you have set me free. Don't you believe that the God that made the universe, those 400 billion galaxies, is big enough and strong enough to set you free? Big enough and strong enough to love you despite what He knows about you? Strong enough and big enough to die for you even though He knew every intricate sin of your life? You see, as powerful as He is, the Bible tells us so much more of the expanse of His love 
than the expanse of His power. Isn't that love amazing? Isn't it beautiful? But it is only a, it is not only a love that forgives that makes it beautiful. It's the love that changes that makes it beautiful. You see, His forgiveness in our lives, the power of His love is not that, it, that He forgives us despite what we've done, but that this love is so powerful and active that it can change the heart of man into something he never thought he could be. That's why Jeremiah says, with loving kindness I have drawn thee. And it is his love that transforms the heart. Will you take a moment to recognize that as powerful as God's words are to create the worlds and the galaxies into existence, his love is just as strong, if not stronger, to create within you a new life. Create within you a new spirit. That's what His love does. Will you believe that today and believe in that love? And as you go through this week, may His love transform you and may you be a new creation in Christ.